Hey Tickies! Okay, today we are doing a neon bubble nail art. This is so much fun and really, really easy. Way easier than it looks. Let's get into it. I hope you like it. Okay, to start off with, we are starting with a white base. I'm using China Glazer's White on White and over the top of that, I've put a coat of Butter London's Matte Finish Top Coat. If you don't do that, this is going to be a little bit too... Well, I mean, it does work, but it's a little bit easier with the matte top coat. The acrylic paints I'm using today I'm really excited about because I got them from Stylish Nail Art as a birthday present. Uh, and they are all neon-y and glowy and fabulous. Lot of just, oh, just, I love them. All the details will be in the description box down below as per usual. The brush I'm using is my Jay and Dance 24 Detailer Brush, which also coincidentally comes from Stylish Nail Art Shop. Again, details in the description box. Now, to start off with, you just want a very small amount of paint and then you just want to add a lot of water because you want your paint to be quite thin. Not too thin so that uh, it's completely not seeable on your nail, but it does need to be quite thin. So, probably a ratio of one drop of paint to six drops of water would be um, perfect. So, you just want to get the right consistency. You can play around with it and you'll figure out whether or not it's going to be too thin or too thick to work for this particular nail art. But yeah, quite thin, but not too thin. Create your bubble. All you need to do is paint a circle with your paint onto your nail. Once you've done that, put a, a drop of water into the middle of that circle. That water shouldn't move, it should stay there. Wait about 20 seconds and then get another brush and suck out the water. As soon as you hit that, that dot of water with a dry brush, the water will actually be sucked up into the brush and you're left with the outline of a bubble. Simple, really. Now say for instance you're using a quite light colour like the green and yellow in that I'm using in this and you want the colours to be uh, much brighter, you can go over the top of these bubbles as many times as you like and redo them until you get the strength of colour that you're after. Now as you can see I'm overlapping my bubbles, you don't have to do that but I think it looks really cool if you do. Uh, and you can have as many bubbles on your nails as you want, you can have as little bubbles on your nail, you can have one bubble if you want to. Uh, it's yeah, it's just such a cool thing to do. It's so fun, and it is really, really easy. completed your bubbles all you need to do is seal it with a good quality top coat uh, it doesn't take any time to dry at all because the paint is so thin uh, I'm using sesh feet as per usual details in the description box as per usual for my pinky and index finger I used Orly's neon heat from the new baked collection so bright and obviously since how these are neon paints neon polish as well it glows, isn't that pretty? And this just glows under my black light. It's not glow in the dark polish or glow in the dark paint. It's just glowing under my black light. So it's really good for ravers. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you so much for subscribing. Yes, and thank you for that delicious thumbs up. I love you all.
Bye.